I literally just said this, like, the other day. I said, why don't they get Dog the Bounty Hunter on this case? He definitely has experience looking for fugitives on the run. This right here should be right up his alley. Dog does not fear these escapees or these criminals on the run. Dog has a heart. He wants to talk to these people. In my opinion, if Dog the Bounty Hunter could get on this case, this right here would be a good thing, in my opinion, because I think he has a lot of experience and knowledge he could bring to the table. Right now, the U.S. Marshals need to use all the resources and tools they have. Dog the Bounty Hunter is he not a U.S. Marshal himself? I know he's a bounty hunter, but I'm pretty sure he's a U.S. Marshal, too. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I know he's got the investigative knowledge. He has captured so many fugitives on the run. He sat down and spoke with News Nation. I want to add this little interview here because, y'all, it just adds another layer to this love story between the inmate and the prison guard and if you have not been following this case please go watch my videos i just uploaded a couple of recent videos the latest updates yesterday go check those out be sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest developments in this case we'll turn it over to dog he has caught more than ten thousand fugitives uh Dog, good to see you tonight. Uh, where do you start? I mean, I, I think, first of all, this guy is almost seven feet tall. How, how, um, how hard could it be for him to hide? Well, nah, you know, he's obviously doing it. So, the, number one, I've got some notes. I'm sorry I have to refer to because I've worked on this today. <clears throat> so, they're in possession of, right now, as far as weapons, a shotgun, a pistol, and her AR-15. Uh, about a week ago, she sold her property for $95,000, twice under what the market was. So they were prepared. Her last day at work, she just retired after 16 years, and her last day was the day she left. They found her police car, <clears throat> which we seen her load him in the sally port with leg irons and cuffs, headed allegedly to the doctor. They found the police car in a shopping center parking lot. She has recently, a week ago, purchased another vehicle. I believe it's an SUV Ford. So, uh, you know, this is, I mean, this is not, when you have a, a criminal like that and a police officer on the run, neither one have that much experience about running. So I think that they gave about eight hours. There were six to eight hours before. She said she had to go to the doctor. She wasn't feeling good. And she had to take him. So I think there was a six to eight hour period she knew they wouldn't look. So I believe they drove four or five hours of that. And as you know, when we travel, when we travel, our crew, we use rent home rentals, that, you know, instead of checking in hotels. So I think they probably rented a, you know, an Airbnb for maybe 90 days because she'll know being a police officer that you got to go under right now. Mm -hmm. Things are going to calm down and cool off. Number one, don't run, don't drive, don't go anywhere, go underground. He cannot walk in a store to buy any kind of goods because anybody that big right now, especially as large ears he's got, they're going to recognize her. <clears throat> I've seen pictures of her with brown hair and blonde hair. But unless she's got a mask on, her teeth are going to give her away. Yeah, let's look. At, we've got a few pictures of what they could disguise themselves at. So so where do you, there they are in sunglasses. She's got yeah. pink hair. He's bald, but he could put a wig on. I mean, where do you start to begin to look for them? Because ultimately, as we just pointed out, they could be anywhere. Well, you, you know, you, we all of us don't have a crystal ball. You have to chase down some leads. She's going to make a phone call. She stayed in a hotel 
So her mother wouldn't ask her any questions the day before, you know, she led the escape. She checked in a hotel. Uh, I think what you do is you check Airbnbs within, you know, a four hour period, 3000 mile period, see who's rented them. The feds can do that easily for two, three months at a time. That's what they did. They went under, they're going to stay under three months. You know, people won't even less, everyone keeps bringing it up, even remember this. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So yeah. that's what she's counting on. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, I mean, you've you've chased down lots of, lots of criminals, uh, lots of people on the run. What's the biggest mistake that people make when they're trying to hide? Well, going out of the house, going somewhere, because you never know who's going to look at your show tonight. And, you know, the, the media is past these. You never know who's going to see you. And someone's going to spot them. Like, again, like her teeth, her walk, her body language. I don't think he'll go out anywhere. He's going to stay in because he's a, you know, pardon the expression, a dead giveaway. But you also have to remember that they, when you escape from a prison, it becomes the FBI federal marshal's job to catch them. And uh, you got one life sentence. This is a shoot to kill prisoner. He's got nothing to lose, right? He, he is facing the death penalty. Exactly right. And, you know, this, the uh, a few years ago, we chased some guys in the Denimora, remember that, out of New York, mm. where the two guys escaped, yeah. allegedly fell in love with the guard, a cop, and she helped him. I don't think, you know, he's, He's been convicted, I believe, of murder on a girl. I don't think he'll kill her right away because he needs her, you know, to go buy maybe cigarettes, booze. He needs her around to cook. Yeah, right. Uh, if, he didn't, if he didn't need her, I would fear for her life because she, her husband died just recently. Hey, you know, so hey dog, quick question for you. Let's talk sure. about cash. You said she sold her house for $90,000, which is well below market, but... Uh, yes. you, one of the ways you catch people is you flag their credit cards, you flag their ATM cards. Do we have any idea of the kind of resources they left with? Did she withdraw in a lot of cash? Did she have other driver's licenses or passports? Have they been able to get, get into this at all? I checked that. There, as far as any credit card, she hasn't used one. She, said she has some. But when you sell your house for 95000 you got enough to run three years. So they're paying nothing but cash. And being a, an ex-police officer gone bad, you know how they how you get caught. And that's by checking in a hotel, using a credit card, you know, stuff like that. So that's why, obviously, she sold her house for less than half the market value to get the cash, 16 years. And she quit the day before. This was her last day at work when she took off. Yeah. What are the chances that they're getting help? I mean, they've been planning this. They, we know now they've been in a relationship for potentially up to two years. Um, the extent of that, we don't know. But um, on the outside, had, have they connected with somebody? How often do you find that when people have this type of plan, they've got people on the outside ready to help them? Well, when it's a husband and wife or a boyfriend, girlfriend, usually they don't contact, okay? If he's got another contract, she's dead. He'll kill her. She's a liability. I don't think that they have another contact. Now, he made a phone call from another state while he was in custody to her. They just found that out, too. They checked his call records. So this is kind of, then all of a sudden, he wants to plead out on this case so he'll get transferred back to that jail. I think it was something just between those two. What are y'all's thoughts and opinions on this whole case? Do y'all think they had help? Or do you think it's just between those two? I'm pretty sure this was well thought out, well planned out. And look, they both had some knowledge, okay? She had a lot of knowledge having that much experience being a police officer. So she knows what the police officer and law enforcement are looking for and the public. She knows this is being covered right now. And I'm sure they've seen it somewhere. Y'all, you know they've probably got this little burner phone. I don't I don't know. They might not have a phone because I mean why would they need a phone, you know? 
I just find it hard to believe that with her being so close to her mother, she just left her mother. Like, she knew she was going to be on the run for a while. I mean, if not the rest of her life. So she wasn't never going to see or talk to her mother anymore. Like, that had to be... I mean, it... I don't know. That right there is the kicker to me, I guess you could say. That has me thinking, well, is she or has she been in contact with the mom? And the mama ain't going to say nothing. Well, she might. She might because she wants her daughter back. But I don't know because she wants her daughter safe. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Now, the, the deal with the appearance... I'm pretty sure they are, like Dog said, they're probably somewhere. They're going to stay there for about, you know, three or four months until this, you know, dies down a little bit. And then they'll probably have their appearance totally changed. She could go out in a baseball cap and some shades with one of those masks on. And, I mean, come on now. She'd blend right in. Now, I don't know about him blending in being six foot nine with them big old ears. But, I mean... I guess they could grow his hair out. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, I said at first they could be out of the country, and that still is my thoughts. Like, I, that that's an, one of my options. I think they could be in another country where they don't extradite people, like if that makes sense. Keep in mind, she's kind of got that inside knowledge because she knows what they're looking for. And she knows where they're going to be looking. And she knows, she just knows, y'all. So, I mean, they could be on a little island somewhere. She's talking about the beach, wasn't she? There's a lot of beaches around this world. A lot of them. But somebody's got to buy some food. You get what I'm saying? Somebody's got to go get the food. So, somebody's done went out. Somebody's done went How are they eating? You get what I'm saying? You got to get that food somehow. There's just so many questions. I do also think that they could be hiding out in the south somewhere in one of these um, little communities that ain't got much police patrol at all because there's a lot of areas like that in the south. I'm just using that as, as an example because I live in North Mississippi and I know, I know around here, the police patrol is very slim to none. They literally could be living down the road in a rent house and nobody would ever know if they didn't come out of the house. Like, nobody would know. And hell, a lot of people around here ain't got internet or TV. So, I mean, they don't know what, what people's looking for or who people's looking for. So, keep that in mind. They could be hiding out in a little town somewhere in the community in the sticks in the south or in some non populated area around the country you never know what but i want to know what y'all think where do you think they're at y'all let's talk about it in the comments below i'll meet you down there be sure you subscribe for the latest updates in this case y'all have a good day